this is episode 10, part 2, the continuation of the Rhythm and Vibe podcast. We got special guest Keefe D and also Fallon, songstress, writer, producer, CEO. Let's go, man. Let's get into the episode. Let's go. There she go. Hello. Hey, Hello. how you doing? What's going on? What's going on with cool. you? You gotta, you gotta introduce her. You gotta introduce her, Jay. <laughs> uh, this is the shorty, the homegirl from. Let me make sure I get this right, man. <laughs> uh, she's from New Orleans, right? Yeah. New Orleans, man. Uh-huh. Shorty's New Orleans. a producer. She's an artist. Uh-huh. She's a uh, artist manager. She does everything, man. Be right, yeah, I do a little bit of everything. Does everything, man. So, you know, give it up, man. Give it up. Bro. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's absolutely. Yo, so how, how you like New Orleans? Huh? So I currently live in Baton Rouge, so about an hour from uh from the city of New Orleans. Uh but would much rather be in New Orleans, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's it's there's the music community in New Orleans is not as large as you would, you know, say like New York, obviously, um, or even Orlando, but it's a lot smaller in Baton Rouge than it is in New Orleans. So it's yeah. work is hard to find, you know, if you want to yeah. stay in the music industry over here. Yeah, dark. When do you play? What do I play? Not a single thing I sing. <laughs> What you saying? That's right. Yeah, um, I can I can get around on a on a piano enough to produce because that's what I went to full sail for. Um, but I typically write. That's my favorite is writing. Uh, you know, I've 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 thought about you know delving into the ghost writing scene. You know, pull up like party next door. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> you mean you don't know, man? You know you. What, 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 what's the interpretations about it? I guess not knowing the right people, you know, not knowing the right people to get connected with when it comes to that. Okay. Now, if you were to get into it, are you the type that would have um, reservations about people knowing your music but not being able to know? It's your music. I don't think it. I, I don't. I mean, uh, listen. Give credit to what credit is due. I don't mind that at all. But um, I, I wouldn't mind. It would kind of be a conversation, I guess, for me, the artist and the producers and the engineers and all the team to kind of just, you know, because what would be the coolest thing is to sit with the artist or even, you know, video with the artist. To really make sure that what I'm saying is something that you would say, because that's a big thing. Where I, I used to, I used to be like, t- get all the ghostwriters out of here, because I'm like, that's fake. That's, in my mind, I'm like, that's so fake, because you're not even talking about what you're really about. Yeah. So I think a big thing for me, if I were to go down that route, <laughs> would be like, we need to make sure that the things that you're saying are things you would actually say, and you you feel with your chest. Because I don't like, you know, especially with the way hip hop has gone, like, I don't rap. I wish I could and it'd be, you know, dope, but I'm going to stick to the singing. But I can write some fire ass raps. I have bars. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like, for me to be out here saying certain bars, it's just not conducive to the economy. I don't think it would be. (laughs) Wow. I totally understand. I totally understand. You know, so. But so, a little Erica Badu moment, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, like when did you start singing then? Like what Ooh. age? Or? So the minute I could, the minute I figured out sounds Vocal. could come out of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> so I that's how, long, that that's how long you were singing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never really did it professionally um, until recently. So, you when know, you, it was a hobby when, for a while. When you were in church? Yeah, I, I, I was I was singing in church a lot. Right. I went to a right. Catholic school, so I was like, I was all in. I was in there like swimwear every single time. Right, right. 
Yeah. Right. So what do y'all do over here? We just we just here chopping it up. Sweet. You know, getting into topics and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, talk, talk, to, talk to us about something you're um, passionate about. Me? Yeah. Uh, spirituality, which is so left field from music. but Not, not really. But not really. Nah, you know, everything is yeah, connected. Yeah, music is spiritual. <laughs> it it yeah. is. Absolutely, absolutely. It is. It is. And, and you can, it, you know... When it when it comes to even speaking, like words or spells, so you can really you can really do a lot with you know the things that you're putting out in the world. Absolutely. Right. So you so, don't you don't subscribe to any sort of one religion or anything. No, it's not for me. You know, it and it's such a it's such a uh, a sticky topic for most people. Absolutely. Don't know as necessarily why, because it's like that's your business, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever works for you works for you. Um, I just grew up Catholic, and I knew that there was something. I I could feel it. I, like, I you know you you know you could just kind of feel like when if you're not if spiritual enough, or like if you even if you've just been into any church, like you there's like this there's just like this feeling. To me, it makes me want to cry. Not not necessarily like sad tears, but like I have a very strong connection with taboo things. So it's mm. like um, growing up Catholic, I was like, you know, this is cool. I didn't know anything else. I was like, sure. So once Katrina hit all these things, I'm, I'm actually moving here and there and everywhere. Um, but I, I end up not going to a catholic school for high school so for high school i went to a public school that's a whole separate different world than a catholic yeah. school especially mm -hmm. for high school and that's when i started kind of delving into like astrology and numerology and crystals and like you know pe th people things people would deem as like hippie use my language hippie stuff but um i started really getting into it um at about 14 and ever since then, I've just been kind of going balls to the wall with it. I enrolled back in school to get my PhD in metaphysics. Word. So, you know, I, multi multifaceted is, I guess, the best word to, to describe what I got going on. So you're like into astral projection and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Like it's it, it, it gets really deep, you know, and, and the subscribing to one religion, like just just. What I like to do is learn about all the all the different religions and just kind of like pull f from what. And and that's how it should be. You you it, should be, you should you should be able to learn it on your own. Because right. me personally, I don't believe like can't no mother. What's my man? Can't <laughs> nobody tell me about God. Because if you knew him, you wouldn't be here talking to me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'll go. I'll go find out myself i don't need to have nobody preach to me exactly I don't need to be a part of any cult or anything like that i'll mm -hmm. go read the book and all that myself you know what i'm saying right. right right absolutely i think the most important thing is having that relationship with you and him or she or they or them or whatever you want to call them wait i don't need a pl i don't need a plug yeah i don't need a plug for god right? <laughs> exactly <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Jason, you quiet over there, man. What's going on with you over there? <laughs> I'm letting y'all talk, man. I'm just letting everybody talk. Oh, this is right here, man. What are you talking about, man? So, uh, what, uh, what have you been working on recently? Like, new projects, things you got going on? Uh, so, studying a lot recently. Um, I've, been, I've been getting ready for... A, um, a show. I'm actually singing at EDC this year, which is an electronic music festival. Uh, it was my first music festival I ever went to, electronic music festival I ever went to. Um, mm. So it's kind of full circle that I'll be singing uh, at the festival this year. 
Uh, it'll be one night. It'll, it's Sunday at sunset, and it's not like it's like you know the headliner. It's not like it's yeah. you know on a main stage, but it's still definitely an accomplishment that you know you know something that is like check off on the on the goals. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Now, are you gonna do your own music or do you do covers? Uh, so this pati- this particular um, set is going to be with a band that started back in the '90s. So they're gonna be their own. It's Prophecy. Prophecy is the name of the band. Um, I'm gonna be singing the songs that they created. So it's so uh, I'm singing a cover, but it's not. So yes, a cover. <laughs> but I I like to you know have my own music. But it was just so last minute, and I couldn't turn it down. Like I'm not even I'm not even getting paid for it. It's like because that's not why I do it. You know I do it because I love it. Yeah, you're all, you're all, you're a true artist. You know, right. Doing- it's not about that. Exactly. I mean, now, of, of course, if you got a band or six, right, please. Right. If you're good, love. if you're good enough, you you if you're good at something, you shouldn't do it for free. Right. Um, you know, but if you if you love something, you will do it for free. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Now, what are your musical tastes like? Um, it's quite uh quite the variety. As far as what I like to sing, I like to do like neo soul, like Anita Baker, Erica Badu, that like jazzy, soulful, like Shaka Khan, like type thing. Yeah, sure. Um, but I grew up, I grew up listening 